Eli Rodriguez had sort of lousy timing when it came to major league teams he played with. Consider, Rodriguez broke in with the 1968 Yankees right as Mickey Mantle was wrapping up and four years removed from the Bombers' last title run for a while. In 1969, the young catcher was on to the Royals as an expansion pick. By the time the Royals knocked off their first winning season two years later, though, Rodriguez was with the Brewers, another 1969 expansion team, originally the Seattle Pilots. Before the Brewers could even bring Hank Aaron back to Milwaukee, they traded Rodriguez to the Angels. Finally, the Halo sent Rodriguez to the Dodgers, where he finished his career in 1976, a year before L.A. made it back to the playoffs. Sol Rodriguez seemed to have a knack for missing out on those team's good years by just a smidge. Along the way, though, he crafted a nine-year career that included two all-star appearances. And, well, Rodriguez proved they have great timing when it came to cardboard. I mean, he was born at just the right time and pushed his way into the major leagues in just the right decade to land in wax packs during what just may have been the glory years for catcher cards. Sure, catchers have an innate advantage when it comes to pasteboard drama, thanks to the warrior gear and being in the hub of the action. But in the 1970s, when Tops was the only game in town, catchers seemed to have extra special treatment. I mean, that 1976 Tops Johnny Bench card is a gosh darn legend in its own right. The thing is, though, the 1976 tops Eli Rodriguez isn't far behind. And that's not all, as Eli landed one of those horizontal deals in 1973 that shows so many players. You're not sure whose card it is, but that sure does make you want to go to the ballpark right now. Rodriguez looked pretty darn good on his more psychedelic 1972 tops and 1975 issues, too, in his posed crouch glory. Heck, even Ellie's relatively mundane 1977 Tops offering was special, considering it was a career capper, issued after Rodriguez had played his last game. So yeah, you might not feel too confident in your team's immediate fortunes with Eli Rodriguez on the roster, but you knew for darn sure that you were going to see some sweet, sweet catcher cardboard. Like our video? Then like our videos and subscribe to our channel. WaxPackGods.com